What's up, guys? Mike, I'm here with Absolute Construction, your roofologist coming at you from Dallas this morning out here in front of one of my installs. And today I want to give you a tip that you can use if you're ever in a situation where you're getting a cedar shake roof replaced. So let's get started. All right, guys, so here's a video geared more towards the contractor. Uh, and I know it's kind of loud in the background, so you have to forgive that. But I want to talk to you guys about the protection needed when you're doing a redeck. And a redeck is when you have these cedar shakes. Uh, right now, we're working on a project where we have uh, asphalt shingles laid over cedar shakes. So we're tearing off everything. We've got some space decking. And because that space is there, when you're tearing off those cedar shakes, little, little bits of that wood is going to make it down to the attic space. So. I ran into a situation like this uh, a couple months back. I did a redeck on the other side of Dallas, and uh, ultimately what happened was because those uh, those pieces made their way into the attic space, I just didn't really think that you know it was going to break up that much. And ultimately, I had to pay a crew to come in and basically clean out the entire uh, the entire attic space. I mean, it was embedded into the into the insulation and just really a mess. And so. As you can see, you got some blue on either side of me. Uh, we have taken that necessary precaution to carp pretty much the entire attic space. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to get into the nooks and crannies of the eaves and things like that, but generally speaking, the majority of the roof is protected. And what we're gonna do is afterwards, you know, because right now we have little pieces like this that are falling through. These guys got pitchforks, they're just breaking it off this, these one by fours. And so, Ultimately, when we're done, we're going to package this all up, take it down the ladder, uh, the ladder that I'm standing on, and be and it'll be cleaned up. So uh, there's still going to be a minor amount of cleanup that's going to be necessary, and, and but that's something that either I can do or one of my guys can really do in a matter of minutes versus a situation that played out a couple months ago that I was telling you about. And, I mean, I had to pay, I, I think it was four guys, five hours worth of work to go in there and, and really just get a, get a nice, get it nice and clean. So anyways, get more geared more towards the contractor, but also, I mean, I guess homeowners as well. If you run into a situation where you have this type of installation and you're going through this process, make sure that the contractor that you choose is going to make sure that this, this stuff is protected because I made the mistake myself. <laughs> I own it. But uh, ultimately, this is really to help prevent this from happening to anybody else. And so if you can mitigate this, I highly recommend it. It was, it was definitely a mess. So with that, I'm going to sign off. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend weekend, and we'll talk in the next video. Bye.